ما شاء الله لا قوه الا بالله دي وي هاف ا بيوتيفول دي ما شاء الله ات واز ريلي نايس واز وان اوف ا كاين ما شاء الله دي ريسيتيشن افتر اند اولسو فيري فولفيلينج فيري فولفيلينج You know, it, it makes my day. You know, I always think about why Allah Almighty tells us through the blessed lips of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The two units of prayer prior to the farad of uh, Fajr, mm. uh, the, the Sunnah, better than the whole world and whatever it has. Imagine this is a Sunnah. Subhanallah. So what about the Fajr itself? Subhanallah. So you know, if people were to know, no one would sleep. No one will stay at home when you have a beautiful masjid like that. If you, if you come early for Salat al-Fajr mm. and you fulfill the Sunnah and you're sitting perhaps al kar some recitation of Quran, mm. Wallahi, every time the feeling is so amazing and it is only tasted by those who have done it. No, no matter how much you explain it to someone, they would not be able to it achieve that sweetness. Yes, you cannot describe it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even more is when you get up earlier and you fulfill the tahajjud, like mm -hmm. you rightly said, and I repeated it, tahajjud is by invite only. No. Allah invites you to fulfill tahajjud. So if, mm -hmm. you, if Allah has given you the opportunity to fulfill that tahajjud, you need to know he invited you. He loves yes. you. Yes, he loves you and he's invited you. And this is why you are there. So. Mm -hmm. Imagine these two units of Fajr, when they are fulfilled in a beautiful masjid, I think the capacity of this masjid must be easily 10,000, 15,000 oh, yes, perhaps. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is, is just one floor. There is oh. a courtyard outside and there is the downstairs and upstairs. Look, the ladies, they can pray also upstairs. upstairs as, as you mentioned, Sheikh, Allah <laughs> does not only choose people for Hajj, uh, Qiyamul Layl, but uh, as we look now, right now in the masjid, it's about seven, Him and you look around, you see how Allah also has chosen many people for uh, to sit quietly and use uh, and read the Quran. Salat al Duha. Mashallah, mm. mashallah. You know, to watch the sun rising, to get up so early, this is part of the plan of Allah. Subhanahu wa Akbar. Yeah. There is a lot of barakah when you get up in the morning and you start doing whatever you have to do from as early as possible. There's a lot of blessings is in this. Is this exclusive yeah. for the believers uh, well as far as work no it is not exclusive for the believers because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the dunya for those who work for it man kana yuridu thawab ad-dunya nu'tihi minha so those who work for the dunya and they get, uh, they get up early morning in order to uh, earn their provision Allah and the almighty will facilitate right. that for them but as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said إن المؤمن إذا عمل حسنة في الدنيا أطعم بها طعمة في الدنيا على ما يدخره الله له من الآخرة. يعني the difference between a مؤمن and a non-believer. Ah, look at the mushaf here while we're talking. ما شاء الله. يعني whenever a non-believer does anything, Allah will reward him for it in the dunya. You work hard, you get paid. You struggle. This is handwritten. This is handwritten. ما شاء الله تبارك الله. Must be very old. Here, it's what it says here. Oh, you must. Yes, here it is. And I like this other one. Mushaf Malaysia, mashallah. Mashallah, beautiful, beautiful. And this is the zakhrafa that they they put around it. Look at this, mashallah. Kul a'udhu bi Rabbi al-Nas, Malik al-Nas, Ilahi al-Nas. So, fa'ind Allah thawab al-Dunya wa al-Akhir. Allah has both the reward of the dunya and the reward of the hereafter. And if you only acquire in the dunya, okay. نؤتيه منها ما نشاء. We give him uh, as much as we want. But a person who is a believer gets up in the morning, they pray the fajr, they pray the sunnah before fajr, they recite their azkar. That's uh, an entirely different category. It, that, is that, that is actually that is actually the holistic growth of an individual. You have the spiritual aspect as well as the physical aspect, and all other aspects: the contentment one feels, the peace, the tranquility, and so on. 